The battle is heating up over a Holocaust memorial set to be built on the grounds of the Ohio State House. The atheist group, the Freedom From Religion Foundation, says because the memorial includes a Star of David, it violates the separation of church and state. But supporters say the memorial will teach people about one of the greatest atrocities in human history and will include all of those killed by the Nazis, including U.S. soldiers, ethnic and religious minorities, gays, and the mentally ill. David Silverman is the president of American Atheists. And you don't like the idea of the Star of David on this memorial? Well, I don't like the idea of the Star of David only on this memorial. The, the Holocaust, obviously, was a horrible thing that killed 11 million people. 40% of the people killed in the Holocaust were not Jewish. But the only insignia on this, uh, on this memorial is a Jewish star, and that is on public land. So it not only is immoral in that it discounts the 40% who died who were not Jewish, but it's also illegal as it's an obvious endorsement uh, of religion over non-religion, Judaism over everyone else. Well, the Supreme Court may see that differently. As you know, in recent years, they've examined a lot of memorials that did include a cross and other things and have said those symbols can mean a lot of things to a lot of people. They don't necessarily have to be religious, and that doesn't mean that they're 100% excluded from any of these particular memorials. No, but what the Supreme Court normally says is that it's not an endorsement of religion if it's in a context of, ex of inclusion. In other words, if you've got a building that has a Jewish star and a cross and a crescent and something that represents a whole bunch of people, that's not an endorsement of religion. But if you've got only one symbol and it's on the top of a building and it makes the building, quite frankly, look like a Jewish synagogue, it is a clear endorsement of one religion, Judaism, over everybody else. I mean, there's a lot of people who died on on, mm -hmm. on, in, in the in Holocaust, Holocaust. Uh, you know, gay people were, were murdered, uh, handicapped people, gypsies were murdered in mass by the millions, and yet they're in a building, they're going to be memorialized in a building that, first of all, breaks the law, and second of all, completely ignores them from the facade. I'll take issue with you on whether or not it breaks the law. And nobody's putting a star, David, on the top of the Ohio State House. This is going to be part of a memorial there. Let me talk about what the inscription is going to say. Inspired by the Ohio soldiers who were part of the American liberation and survivors who made Ohio their home, if you save one life, it is as if you have saved the world. In remembrance of the six million Jews who perished in the Holocaust and millions more, including prisoners of war, ethnic and religious minorities, homosexuals, the mentally ill, the disabled, and political dissidents were suffered under Nazi Germany. And there's nothing really wrong with the inscription. But when you're driving by and you see this big, huge thing with a big Jewish star on the top, you're not going to be able to read the inscription. It's, a, it's on public land and it's going to look like a temple. It's going to look like a Jewish shrine. It's going to look like a synagogue. Well, let's talk, okay, let's talk and, about and, that. And it's important that we not give the Holocaust to just the Jews. There was a lot of people yeah, who died. Yeah, but you have to admit they were the primary target. It was about exterminating them. And a lot of these other groups were, were kind of roped into that because they they may have supported it, or they were equated as being less than favorable because they how they were in some way equated to being, you know, at the, at the level of a Jewish person. This was about targeting the Jewish it nation. Was a, it was about eugenics, okay? It was about creating With an Aryan Jews as race. the primary target. It was, yeah, they were a primary target, but they were not the only target, and they should not be the only ones that are celebrated or memorialized, and they should not be given that impression. Well, what we have to realize is that there is a law that separates the church and state in this country, and that's a law that everybody has to obey even if they don't want to. What we need to do uh, is do exactly what the assembly, the, the advisory board did, is consider a whole bunch of options and pick the one that doesn't break the law. There were a lot of options as to the design of this building and they discussed the legal aspects of placing a Jewish star on public land and they ignored the fact that they were breaking the law. What we're because saying... Because they don't contend that they're breaking the law. One person on the advisory board did and he quit because of this. They knew that this was a problem. They're making a controversy that's not necessary. There were other great designs that were support that were proposed that did not break any law, and we think they should go with one of the ones that doesn't break the law. All because right. in the end, everybody has to obey the law, even if they don't want to, even if they're religious. All right. Well, the Supreme Court may endorse this based on other recent decisions. We'll see if it goes that far. We'll see. Good to see you. Thank you Thanks very much.